Anybody that comes to jail, this would be your first entry into the jail. Adams County Sheriff Brent Fisher says the Adams County Jail has problems, and those problems need to be fixed. An elevator to the booking area uh, that we're on three different levels that you cannot see any of the jail from the booking area, that you don't have a control room that controls doorways, that officers have to maintain and keep keys on them when they go back into the section. And that's not even half the problems workers face on a day-to-day -day schedule. The current jail is only able to house less than 20 women at a time, all without the security of their own or even shared cell. Space is also limited for the men's floor, so why doesn't the jail just perform upgrades? To invest any more money, I would think, would be just wasting money. The Adams County Sheriff's Department has been lobbying for a brand new jail facility for years. It is going to reduce substantially the liability that this county has. As a taxpayer, statutorily, you have to detain people. And if you do not do it correctly and effectively and efficiently, there's a lot of liability that goes with that. They not only want inmates and community members to be safe, but they want to be safe themselves. Do you feel safe coming in and out to work every day? Some days yes, some days no. I mean, we do what we can here, and we do it the best we have. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, you know, my main mission is to make sure every one of our guys go home in gals. And um, I personally don't want to have to go to someone's house and explain to their family why I wasn't able to try and get them home because we don't have the, uh, the state of our facility that we need here in Adams County.